guilt, uh, judgment, uh, punishment, and illness. Well, the, co I mean, the course of miracles, I mean, you know, you can use the word guilt. Guilt, usually the, the resonance of guilt is, uh, it's like, the, met it's like the, the message in guilt is I need punishment. You know, I'm guilty, so I, I deserve to be punished. Yeah. So uh, it's a, uh, but it, it, you could say it's just a vibration, or a, a low vibration, uh, and uh, <clears throat> so so it's like that um, that separate that energy of separation um, will also ha usually have uh, expressing through it limiting belief systems, which correlate to that. So. Uh, so uh, you could say in a simplistic form, the level of guilt depends on the level of manifestation of what seems to be being experienced. Um, so like, let's say there's huge amounts of guilt in the, in, in the, in the ego, then it would tend to have, like, like in my, my thing, like huge guilt, shame, fear, uh, it tends to get life-threatening. Uh, it tends to manufacture situations of complete nightmare like kidney failure, hospitals, operations, all kinds of things. So that, that's, you know, that would be what you'd say, the limiting belief systems. It's like, it's like a magnet which would express belief systems from the collective, which are you know, um, correlating to someone with extreme guilt. You know, so extreme guilt, like a magnet, you could say, it's not quite correct, you know, cause and effect, but you know, we'll have limiting beliefs of expression uh, so you know you you might pick up things like kidney failure or or really horrible things. Now, if you hardly had any guilt and you had a slight sort of guilt attack, you'd probably have a little sniffle or a cough for a while, and then it'd be gone. So it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be that much negative energy in there and extreme negative belief systems. Because if you're not, there's not much repre repressed guilt in there. Uh, your your ego's not going to be picking up something that. Re that is a reflection of, of needing extreme punishment, if that makes sense. Um, and if you're, if you're resonating at a high vibration, then, you know, well, that, that's, uh, you know, so you're not going to be, you shouldn't really mostly be expressing um, um, extreme symptoms, uh, you know. So, uh, guilt, judgment, well, you know, see, now, if you take into account that, um, you know, like the ego, it's all about my ego and perception, and it's not about the world, then, um, so all that I, all that, well, you, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you use the word judgment or limiting beliefs, um, you're, all you're seeing, um, judgment, yeah, judgment, that's a negative connotation. So all the negative things you perceive in the world, which I guess would be judgment, because you're labeling it as bad. You know, I, 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 I judge you for whatever, being too rich, whatever it is. So, uh, so, uh, that, so that's um, the, that, the, the, that belief or that judgment is just a perception that needs to be cleared. Yeah, so uh, I judge tall people as being bad, you know, so that's just, uh, so that's what the ego is perceiving and that's what it's seeing, so it sees a tall person and says, well, that's a bad, you know, labels that person as being bad or wrong or something like that. So um, one just is responsible then for clearing that and when that's cleared, one no longer, probably will not see tall people or notice them or have a labeling that they're bad or good or anything. So you just you just you just transcending or clearing or deleting uh, the beliefs. Um, so guilt, uh, judgment, uh, illness. Um, yeah. So as 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 the belief systems are cleared and the energy is allowed, it just dissolves into nothingness. So um, and then there you know it's not to be remembered or seen the things that were underpinning. So you could think, think of it as a package of repressed energy and a limiting idea. But, you know, like when there's, if there's extreme guilt or an extreme fear, 
you know, like terror or whatever, and then the belief systems, like, like you get addicts that go into panic attacks and think they're dying and stuff like that. You know, so there's probably a lot of repressed feelings and, and the belief systems are, you know, they'll, they'll run around saying, I think I'm going to die or something. So, and then you get maybe normal people, they'll have a cold and a runny nose and feel, you know, feel under the weather for a while. Uh, and someone enlightened is not, you know, they're not identified with the thoughts. Or, or, or uh, well, you know, the, or there's no thoughts, you know, and, they're not, and there's no feelings, you know, that have been experienced. It's beyond that. So, um, so talking about guilt, what is there to talk about guilt? I mean, guilt is generally like from the Course and from Hawkins. I mean, it's talked at symbolically, but it's just a very dense ego energy which tends to express very, um, very uh, limiting belief systems. You know, it could be life-threatening, could be an addiction, could be paranoia, could be all kinds of things that, that would be going on. There, so, yeah.